Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. This is a message I have looked forward to preaching for quite a long time. It's a verse that I really, really like, and I'm like, I don't know how incredibly applicable it is to me. I think it's a verse that's applicable to not just me, but to just everyone in general. I think any human being alive can benefit from this verse. So it's not something that's particularly like impactful to me. It's just something that it's so relatable. Everyone's done it. If they if they are a Christian, they have done this before. So I just really think it is cool. Therefore, I've really looked forward to preaching it. It, it is Nehemiah chapter 2. I'm going to start at verse 1. And it came to pass in the month of Nisan, in the 20th year of King Artaxerxes, when wine was before him, that I took the wine and gave it to the king. By the way, back up to chapter 1 at the very end of verse 11, Nehemiah is the king's cupbearer. Now I had never been sad in his presence before. Therefore the king said to me, Why is your face sad since you are not sick? This is nothing but sorrow of heart. So I became dreadfully afraid and said to the king, May the king live forever. Why should my face not be sad when the city, the place of my father's tombs, lies waste and its gates are burned with fire? Then the king said to me, What do you request? So I prayed to the God of heaven. And I said to the king, If it pleases the king, and if your servant has found favor in your sight, I ask that you send me to Judah, to the city of my father's tombs, that I may rebuild it. And of course, from there on, the king is like, Yeah, go for it. That's the paraphrase version. But the emphasis that I'd like to place is on the latter end of verse 4. So I pray to the God of heaven. He is praying this. Like, he's having the conversation with the king. He's feeling bad. The king's like, what's troubling you? And he's like, this is troubling me. So the king's like, well, you know, how can I help? And so in the middle of this conversation with the guy who has authority to help him and do something for him, he just a quick prayer to the God of heaven. He shoots up a quick prayer to the God of heaven in the middle of a hard time and in the middle of a conversation, which is very, very important. How many of us who are Christians have not done that? How many of us have been in a hard, trying time, something, you know, is afoot, something's bad, something's not right, and so we're talking to someone, a solution's offered, or we're in the middle of, maybe not the solution is offered, but we're talking to someone who is an integral part of the thing that's going on. So as we're talking to them, we should have prepared for wisdom, for the right words, for the right connection, for the right advice, for the right knowledge, that maybe they're the one who needs the help and we're the ones who are the helper and so we're like you know god help me to help them as much as we can in jesus name and we just shoot up that quick prayer in the middle of the conversation and nehemiah uh, the dude has a bible book named after him and he does the exact same thing there is nothing wrong with shooting up a prayer in the middle of a horrible situation in the middle of a conversation with another human being and saying god help i need you right now it's so practical it's so useful it's so just it's so ordinary it's so normal and it's such a sign of just casual humanity and human weakness it's a sign of weakness you are in the middle of crap and you need help and Nehemiah does it. And I just love how normal and plain that is because we can all relate to that. We've all done that. And there's nothing wrong with it. Even if this verse wasn't in the Bible, there's nothing in the Bible saying when to pray, how to pray, what gesture, what words, what posture, what sentence structure. You know, if you need to pray, you pray. If you need something, you ask God for it. But here it is in black and white, not red and white because Jesus is the one who said it. And it's just a guy. It's a guy in a position of authority. And he's talking to a guy in a position of higher authority than him who can help him. But he's just a guy. Another human being like me and you just praying in a hard time. In the middle of a conversation. And I love how incredibly vulnerable and human that is. So if you need to do it, do it. Don't be ashamed about it. And don't think twice about it. You need to pray. You need something. Do it. Just do it. I wanted, to, I wanted to reference the Shia LaBeouf meme so bad there. But yeah, just do it. If you need to pray for something, if you need something badly, don't hesitate to ask the Lord for it. Just pray for it. Just do it. He's there to help you. He's there to answer your prayers. He's listening to you just like he listens to Nehemiah or any of the other guys in the Bible or like me 
or anyone else you may talk to or even look up to. He's right there for you just like he is for those other people. Nothing special about them. Nothing special about the characters in the Bible. Believe it or not, there's nothing special about them. They were humans like you and me. And there's nothing special about me, some small YouTuber who happens to preach the Word of God because he knows it and loves it. Nothing special about me either. Just pray it. Just ask God, and he will answer you. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.